I'm updating the typewriter effect for UI in Unity. I got a lot of requests about different ways to use this UI typewriter effect, and I've made some modifications from the previous script that we used. So if you haven't watched the previous video, go ahead and jump to that video and see how I'm implementing that first version because this new one implements a lot of the older um, implementations and um, then you'll understand where we're coming from. But some of the new things that we're doing now is I've changed this so that we can decide if we want the text to start typing out immediately at the start of a scene or when an object gets enabled and you can turn that feature off if you want to and you can then write some accompanying code if you want to let's say that you decide when this object gets enabled and then it's going to start typing out the text if you want to and then additionally um, we're going to be able to use collisions to, s to have maybe a character bump into another one and then have some text uh, appear as if you're talking to somebody like a sage or someone that gives you a, a challenge or a mission and so let's just dive into it. Again, if you look at the the this the video description, the you can download this scene that I'm going to be showing as well as if you just want to just download the script that I'm going to be showing off in the description below. So let's just go into it now and this should look pretty similar to what we had in the previous video. If you haven't looked at it already, please look at that. Also, if you haven't um subscribed to this channel, please subscribe because this helps me understand um, who's interested and how I can make better videos. Okay, so we're going to ignore some of these objects over here where we have some characters at the moment. I'm just going to disable them so we don't see them. And what you should see now is something that's similar to the first video. We have two text objects. One is a text mesh pro object and then one is just a regular legacy text object. And what's different than before is we have the this text mesh pro object but this time we have this version 2 script which you could have downloaded either from the description or the the package and just drop that into the object that has the text objects and what's new this time is that simply you have to just drag in the text object that you're using and there's a field for legacy text and there's one for text mesh pro object before i had it just on the the text object in this case, you could put it onto a third-party object and then link it that way. The other elements are the same. We can change the delay time before we start typing out and the time between characters, which is critically important on how you want to pace out your text. And then if you want to have a leading character, let's say it's a carrot or some sort of um, cursor object that shows that this is where we're adding to. Um, from there, the, the, like I mentioned before, we, we can decide if we want this to start on enable. So whether this object in the scene um, is enabled or not, when, as soon as it becomes enabled, then we can start to have the text start to be typed out. And then if you disable it and then re-enable it, then it's going to type it out again. So that's going to be something that you can now control. So let me just demo that. So this is the text mesh pro object here and we have a link to itself and I have some text that says this is a text mesh pro text. And since we have this box checked, as soon as the scene starts, it's going to start typing it out. I'm going to get out of play and uncheck this start on enable. And if we don't have it checked, this particular one checked off, then the text is just going to remain. And some of this might be good for some of you all. It may not be good for everyone. That's the reason that we have this checkbox. So let's say that we, if we have this box checked and we enter the scene or this object gets enabled, then it's going to start typing it out. I'm going to quickly disable this text mesh pro object. And you'll notice obviously that text disappears, but when I do enable it again, then it starts again, the typewriter effect. It's the same thing for this other one right here. If we look at the legacy text, the regular text object, then I have the same script over here. And uh, right now it's not set to start on enable and obviously it's gonna do the same thing. The text is, is just gonna remain, right? It's not doing the typewriter effect at the moment. But if we check this box, it's going to then start to type out as soon as we enable this object. Um, did I do this wrong? Let's see. Oh, 
I didn't drag in, there's, I forgot to drag in the object that I wanted to have typing, so I'm just going to drag in the legacy text into here, have that start on enable here, and it should start typing. Great. And just like the other Text Mesh Pro object, if I disable it and then enable it, it's going to restart itself. And so I, hopefully you all find that useful. Now for the next thing, let's say that we have a game-like scenario and we have an object, we have two characters, right? We have a rhino and we have our main character. Um, I have my character right here that I have, have some movement a script on there. You can use whatever movement script that you want, but basically allows my character to move le left and right. But what's um, handy now in the same script that you can download in this version 2 is that I can then link my character which has a rigid body and and a collider to say that I want the, the text to start once my character collides with it. And so there's some features that you can decide that you want. I want it to clear at start, so that means this text is going to disappear as soon as the scene starts. And then I want this, the typewriter effect to start on collision. And if I don't check that, then nothing's going to happen. Or it's not going to start typing out. But then the next one is, if my character leaves this collision, do I want the text to all disappear? Or do I want it to finish typing everything out quickly? Right? So for right now, I'm going to set it to complete. And I have this canvas over here that is set to world space. And so if this rhino were to move around, then this text would follow the rhino wherever it is, right? So I'm going to drag it back to where it is here. And I have this text mesh pro text that's a child of my rhino. And so I'm going to point the typewriter script to the text mesh pro object, which is a child of my rhino. Drag it onto here. And I say that I don't want it to start on enable. I only want it to start when my character collides with it. And I want to make sure that I clear the text at the start of the scene. So the text is not there. I'm going to move my character into this space. And then the text appears. It types it out. You must find the hidden crystal. Great. And right now I have it set to complete. So that means if my character moves away, then it completes whatever is not finished typing. So let me give you a demo of that. I'm going to bump into it and then immediately move away and you'll notice that it'll complete the rest, rest, of, the rest of the text and um, if my character bumps into it again then it's going to show it again but if I move away it's going to, it's going to complete it. Uh, the other option is I want it to clear if my character moves away. So this is a very common 2D style game dialogue uh, set up in that if my character moves over here I might stay to read the whole thing, but if I move away, then the text disappears. If I move back in here, even if it didn't complete all the way, then it just clears itself. So hopefully you find these new features helpful. Feel free to dive into this code and dissect it the, the way that you want. Uh, again, this is just named version 2 in this case. The, all the links are in the description. I really hope that you find this uh, helpful, and if there's any more ways that I can modify this to make this more useful for you all, please let me know in the comments. Catch you all later. See ya.